Hi you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, or Rising for the weeks of August the 1st through the 15th, 2017. Uh, so I have already shuffled and cut the cards. Let's go ahead and begin here. I want to thank all of you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. I ask that you all uh, please continue to do so. Um, and remember guys, these are uh, general readings, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully um, I am able to give clarity to most of you. And I feel that I need to remind everyone this week <clears throat> that you have the power to change your outcome no matter what. Um, this is my perspective on the energies that are going on for the next couple of weeks but you know you always have the power to change your reality okay all right so uh the heart of the situation i have the sun six of wands queen of coins page of cups Two of Coins, Four of Wands, Ace of Cups, and Four of Swords or Blades as this creator calls them. Um, oh yeah, this is a new tarot deck. Um, uh, oh my God. I got it from this guy that I follow on Instagram. It's called Darkness Tarot. So, I mean, I think you might just have to either go to Instagram or Google if you were interested in getting a deck from him. Okay, so um, with the heart of the situation being the sun, um, I feel that there is someone in your life that is loyal to you or you're going to realize or have some sort of realization that you have a, a loyal companion. Um, I feel that I feel like there's someone in your life that's never really going away, uh, even in spirit. Um, I feel you yourself may be a loyal partner. Um, I feel that there is good news on the way. There's also something in regards to fame and or popularity you may be dealing with someone who's very outgoing very optimistic um i'm seeing someone have uh, a lot of uh, either followers or supporters uh, for some of you you might have um, one of your followers might uh, reveal something to you um, telling maybe that they're interested or that they admire you. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling like uh, you are being put on a pedal stool as well. So, I mean, I feel like this is a very optimistic week for you. Some of you may also be involved with um, an earth sign. Um, so Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. This person is very fertile. So if you're trying to have children right now, I feel like this person is very fertile. Um, or you yourself, you this could be a good week because you might be very fertile this week. I feel that this person is very practical though. Um, this person may also be able to assist you financially in some sort of way or maybe... Um, you guys uh, share, I don't know if you're sharing finances or they have, they contribute finances to you or something. Um, but we also have the Page of Cups and I'm seeing someone letting you know that they are interested. Um, now also keep in mind this could go the other way around so this could be used but there's like either someone is doing a little bit of flirting um, this person is usually someone who may not um, know exactly how to show that they like you. Um, 
if they don't let you know, if they're not flirting with you, I feel that they will, but it's, it's something that they're feeling inside or someone is starting to develop feelings for you or you might be starting to develop, develop feelings for them. Um, you also could be dealing with a water sign. So um, Scorpio, uh, Pisces, Cancer. And I'm also seeing like um, some sort of, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, rejuvenation or um, something I feel like there's a renewal of something happening so maybe your relationship if it has gone through any suffering or anything of that sort um, I feel like there is um, something new on a horizon I feel like you're about to hear some good news too about something uh, the two of coins here, I'm feeling that you may feel out of balance from time to time um, or I don't know if you feel uncomfortable sharing how you feel with this other person. Um, a little awkward. It's kind of hard for you to express yourself to this person, but I feel like you're putting yourself out there. You're making something known. You're doing something that's making you uncomfortable. Or even if people are calling you foolish or something of that sort, I just kind of feel that you're putting yourself on a line. Um, or somebody might be doing that for you. I'm seeing new beginnings here. I'm seeing like either new... Um, Plan, like planning for a new family or uh, like settling in a new home, maybe decorating your home or uh, doing things around your house that you love to do. I'm saying for somebody is um, somebody's sending love letters and flowers and just showing simple gestures, bring you a piece of fruit, an apple uh, or a pear like the like on this picture. And I just kind of feel like someone is gradually showing you how they feel. So something that goes from a crush might develop into something more. Also, some of you could be dealing with someone that is younger than you. Uh, if this person is not younger than you, then they are, um, what do you call it? I mean, just both of you guys may be in your 20s or something. Um, hmm. Now, once this opportunity is presented to you, like I feel like someone might want to show you that they're interested, like I'm saying, but I feel for some of you, you may, uh, I don't know, put that person on hold or you might turn a cold shoulder for some reason. Um, I feel like you're saying like, I need to think about it. Let me think about this. I'm not sure. So there's something that you're trying to, um, I don't know, I feel like you're trying to gather your thoughts for whatever we, I don't know if you don't want to be stuck. There might be some sort of fear of isolation or, um, I don't know. This fear factor, I think, is more so coming from someone who is afraid to open up how they feel. And they're thinking about it. So that could be you, the other person. But I am seeing something being put on hold. Um, those of you that are single, I'm not saying that I'm, I'm seeing a relationship, but the potential is there. You may get asked out. Um, so the following week, I feel like somebody's getting more aggressive with what they want or how they feel. Um, kind of putting yourself out there or taking a stand and just saying, look, this is this. It is what it is. Um, Someone is just becoming more bold in what they want. They're going up against all odds. <clears throat> there could be a lot of competition. Um, 
in regards to the person that you want, there might be other people that are after this person. And I feel like you, you're feeling like you can knock down the competition. You're like, they don't compete. They don't have what I have. I have something real to offer. And I just kind of feel like someone is really um, going to go all out there improving how much they really like someone. And it, it could be you or the other person. Um, now, for some of you, you're going to be met with a tower. I think what it is is that either you are about to be really thrown off by who is into you, like you really weren't expecting that. You're like, oh my God, I didn't think they liked me like that, or I didn't think there was a, a chemistry or sexual attraction, but there is. Uh, you might just suddenly become attracted to someone who you weren't really paying attention to, but there's something that's going on. Definitely, I feel like there's a reveal thing happening. Um, something's being revealed. Something's being put out into the open. And it's almost like if you don't do it, then somebody else or the universe is going to do it for you. So either like somebody put you on blast, like, like your friend is like, why don't you just tell them that you want to take them out? And so they just take it upon themselves and say, look, you know, my friend like you. I think y'all should go out. Are you, are you attracted to my friend? And they just kind of like hook you up with somebody like on a spot. I just kind of feel like some sort of random thing like that might happen for those of you that are single. Uh, if you're in a relationship, uh, it could just be that someone, like I said, is... Um, just lets you know that they're into you. Uh, even if you are in a relationship, they're making their feelings known. Um, I am seeing um, a little bit of aggress aggressive behavior. Um, for some of you, it's being on the, on the defense about something. Like your defenses are up about something you might feel like you have to okay so for some of you that is with someone very popular like an entertainer or just someone who's popular overall you might find yourself fighting off these other people that are trying to intervene or come in between your relationship um so for some of you i'm feeling like you might get very aggressive and like look this person is taken, you need to step back. So there's something like that going on as well. Um, for some of you, I feel like a new person is going to come into your life and they do have something serious to offer. It is uh, a possibility, This, but it's up to you whether or not you want to accept this. But again, I, I'm showing some sort of reserve, um, trying to control something that you're desiring. Um, you're trying not to go after what it is that you want, even though the opportunity is there. So especially, I don't know, uh, I want. I was going to say for you males um, that is interested in someone, for whatever reason, I feel like there are some sort of reservations. Like you're not, you're trying to control how you feel about someone or you're trying to control from um, um, approaching this person, even though you want to. Um, and for the ladies, I mean, it's basically the same thing. Um, um, not really into women pursuing uh, guys, but maybe you're just kind of afraid to let this guy know that you're into them, maybe. Um, you may have been flirting, but they're trying not to flirt back. There's something going on with this magnetic push and pull thing. Um because there is an attraction. There's definitely attraction, but somebody is trying not to let it be known. All right, so uh, I hope this has helped. Remember, this is a general reading. You have the power to change whatever you don't like. That power is within you. Um, I don't want to take anyone's power away, okay, you guys? Um, but thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave your comments. Um, make sure you're uh, still uh, liking, sharing, and subscribing if you haven't already. Uh, but many blessings to you all. Thank you.